Hey folks, it's Scott here with the XFED Homestead. Over the course of many of my videos, you've seen a pile of wood chips in the background sitting in my driveway covered by a blue tarp. As summer turned to fall, the pile was still sitting there, but the tarp ripped, so I removed it. I'll be using this video to discuss how to obtain free wood chips and the various places that you can effectively use wood chips around your homestead. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's get to it. Now, I love to have wood chips around because they're good for so many things. You can put them around the bottom of your apple trees like I have here. You can put them over in your garden, uh, in the rows to keep weeds down and also to feed the soil. You can put them in your chicken coop. You can put them, I have a island of lilacs over there. I put them on and put them around your shrubs. You can do a lot of things with wood chips. So I like to have a pile around, but this pile's been sitting here way too long. It's good to keep them dry and I had a tarp over it for months, but it was so long and the tarp was old that eventually the wind ripped it in half and now I'm using it, salvaging it and recycling it over on my compost piles to keep them dry through the winter. So it's long about time that I got rid of this pile of wood chips. Well, one of the best things about this particular pile of uh, wood chips is that it was free. And around here, you have to pay to dump off your wood chips if you have a landscaping business or if you're uh, cutting down trees and chipping them up. So you got to put out some money. And so I ordered some firewood from a guy that uh, I was going to try out. I heard he made some good firewood and uh, I hadn't had a lot of great luck with some people in the area. So I decided to give him a try. And Dave is an arborist in a local town. And so he looks, that's his job. He looks at trees for the town and he works in that business. And he also has a side business where he cuts down trees and makes firewood. So I had him bring me a cord and uh, it was a good solid cord of hardwood. So I was very appreciative of that at a fair price. He gave me a fair cord and so I was very appreciative. And I started talking to him and he told me he also had a tree company that would chip things up and I said, do you have to pay to dump them off? He said, yeah, I do. And I said, well, what, next time you're chipping in the area, dump a truckload off in my driveway and that will save you the cost of having to dump it plus the fuel cost of having to haul it to the next town or two. So he did that and uh, he's dumped a few off since then and uh, I'm very appreciative of that. It helps him out and it certainly helps me out. So if you can find a source of free wood chips, it is just great for your soil, it's great for your garden, it's great for a lot of different things around the homestead. In my prior video on tucking the garden in for winter, you saw me use wood chips for mulch in the pathways between my garden beds. Continuing on from that video, I'll show you some of the other uses I found for free wood chips. Well, I'm making a good dent in this pile. We've got the garden already tucked away and uh, got wood chips in there between the rows for the winter, so it'll be all ready for spring. Now I'm gonna bring my wheelbarrow out and for maneuverability purposes, I'm gonna use that to get the uh, buckets of wood chips over to the chicken coop and then we'll keep going from there until this pile's gone. I'm gonna put this wheelbarrow load of wood chips in with the chickens. Chickens love it when they have something to scratch at and wood chips break down nicely. These were made from branches of trees that were chipped earlier this year and they're already breaking down to some extent having sat here in the driveway for a while so they're going to be great for the next couple of weeks or at least until it freezes solid and snows uh, for the chickens to scratch away at those things they love to do that it absorbs their manure and makes for nice compost in the spring
I'm finishing up this project not a day too soon. These wood chips are starting to freeze together with the moisture we had from the recent rain. And uh, it's making it a little crunchy to chop up. So I'm thankful I've only got this little bit of wood chips to go. And hopefully I'll be done real soon or else it's gonna be one solid mass and you'll be here all winter. I could just make one pile and they'd scratch around and spread it for me. I spread it around a little bit and you can see just naturally they start scratching at it and going after it. Now during the year I'll put grass, hay, whatever I have, leaves, wood chips certainly, in the chicken run for them to scratch at. And every year I dig that up in the spring for a little compost and uh, can't believe the worms in that thing. The chickens go crazy when I do it. So uh, we'll see if this new batch of chickens does the same thing next year. Well, the next load of wood chips, in order to finish off the pile, I'm going to put inside the shed. Now, the shed's new to me. It replaced the uh, kind of jerry-rigged shed that I had here. And uh, it was given to me by my neighbor, Mike, who built himself a permanent shed. I'm hoping to do the same thing in the future. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. But Mike was thinking about me and asked me if I wanted the shed. I said, sure. So I'll have a video of me taking down the old shed and putting up this one coming soon. But inside is a dirt floor and I thought I'd use these wood chips, perfect thing to put down on that dirt floor. They're gonna be sitting there all winter and they're not getting wet so they won't really rot too much. And uh, I think they'll make a nice floor to keep the dust down inside this new shed here. Here's what my shed looks like with just a little layer underneath. I've got some junk in there for the winter, mostly chicken butchering and watering equipment, a few chairs, but that's a nice surface. Now one of the things that's interesting about this pile right now is since it's gotten so cold and had a little bit of moisture in it, the surface is breaking off in chunks. Well, I figure I'll take advantage of this and I've got some apple trees right over here within striking distance. I can just pull these off and lay them around the base of the apple trees. Make my life a little bit easier than trying to break them up. <laughs> it's like wood chip Tetris. <laughs> well, when the warm weather comes, it's supposed to be in the 60s next week. This will all break down and uh, unfreeze, fall apart, and I can rake it over evenly. Well, you can see right near the wood pile, I've got my apple trees. And there's a little shot of the wood chip Jenga right there. And I took some of those frozen wood chips and I put them over here as well. And that uh, made it easier for me to dig at the rest of the wood chips. We're making good work on this pile, 
but uh, it's still gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful 38 degrees now, and the, the sun is shining brightly, so, and there's not a lot of wind, so great day to finish up this pile of wood chips. We've made a really good dent in the pile, and I've got a few more things that I can do uh, to put these wood chips to use. So let's get Well, yesterday we played wood chip Tetris with chunks of frozen wood chips. Now, there's a good example of wood chip Tetris around this apple tree. So, and over here, is another good example on this Macintosh tree. But I'm going to add a few more wood chips to these to kind of round out the circles underneath the apple trees. And I've got six apple trees to do. Well, I noticed that the, the path in between the two sides of the garden could use a few more wood chips. So I'm going to take a load or two over there and spread them out. still live worms in the wood chips and especially if you go to the bottom foot foot and a half of the pile you can see the worms up in there bedding down for the winter so you know they like it and that's good for the soil now let's get another load Well, we've covered a lot of ground in putting these wood chips and getting them to use. And uh, there's another point over on the far side of the yard where I have my small chicken tractor. And uh, I'm hopefully settling bees in there in a few years, not next year. Could be the year after, I'm thinking about it. But I may put some bees in the back there. I planted some daylilies back there. Don't know if they took yet. I did it at the end of the summer. So uh, I'm going to mulch that area as well.
that looks pretty good looks like we have one more load and I think I'm gonna give that to my friends the chickens and maybe a little put it put a little on the compost I'm thinking and then we'll be done for the chicken coop I'll have it over to the compost pile and dump the rest of it off there it looks like they're loving it this is the very last load and if you look it almost looks like compost itself because this was at the very bottom of the pile and it's been in contact with the soil so earthworms have gone through it. It's been a little bit moist here and there. So it's almost compost in and of itself. So I'm gonna throw it right here on this compost pile. I still gotta chop up some of those brassicas and uh, some of that kale over there. I'm gonna take my hatchet and chop it up and add it to this. So that'll be some nice compost for next year. But let's add it to it right now. Well, it's the end of another day here on the homestead. Sun's going down, time to get to the gym and work out. <laughs> but it's gonna to be tough after shoveling a good part of the day. So I hope you learned something about what you can do with wood chips. We did a lot of things with that six yards of wood chips. You can use it for mulching your plants, your shrubs. We used it here mulching our apple trees. We used wood chips here with my good friends the chickens and they'll be satisfied pecking through that and scratching through that for several weeks and uh, we also used it on the compost to compost uh, to actually compost wood chips and it had already started to break down at the bottom of that pile we also used it in the corner of the yard where someday we hope to have bees and uh, we're getting that area set up maybe in a year or two we'll do some bees and uh, we certainly used it all over the garden. So uh, we used most of it on the garden. So there are a lot of things that you can do with wood chips, especially free wood chips. And uh, I hope you learned something today. Anyhow, I wanted to say I appreciate the folks who are watching these videos. All of my subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm very grateful to have you. And I'll keep these uh, going with these videos as long as you want to keep watching. And uh, I like to teach what I can. I like to learn things. I hope you do too. And I think uh, we'll learn some good things in the future about gardening, raising animals, hopefully some other animals other than just chickens. And uh, as I move into my retirement, I'll try some different things and learn some different skills that I can hopefully pass on to you folks. Anyway, this is Scott at the XFed Homestead. We'll see you next time.